Hi, what's up guys? This is Akumari and welcome back to my channel and this is the start of mini series for Hydrophobia Prophecy. Well, this game is not well known game and not a high sell game either. It was released years ago by Dark Energy Digital. They have a proprietary technology for this game, it's, uh, they call it a Hydro Engine. It's a graphic mix with physics engine for everything related to liquid or water. Well, this, this game water is quite realistic and beautiful. Unfortunately, they took a, so, uh, they took a lot of time to uh, develop the hydro engine and I think also they pour a lot of resource into that. I take about three years to develop the engine and I, it seems that they don't have much time and resource left to develop the actual game so this game is not that good but in my opinion it is still enjoyable. Well and unfortunately the Dark Energy Digital, the developer of this game, was already defunct since 2012. But it seemed that they still hold the IP of this game. Uh, and by IP, I mean intellectual property, if you don't know that. Well, anyway, this is not a full series, just a preview gameplay for you if you might take interest in this game. Let us start then. Nanocell head scientist Roderick Norton about the devastation of the global population flood and how Nanocell's technology is poised to deliver a brighter future. The catastrophic effects of the population well, flood can as be you alleviated saw, there if we keep some, our faith uh, there was in some kind of our nanotechnology flashback of a childhood trauma, I think. Unfortunately, this tonight, game don't go deep into that childhood trauma or her background. I think that I'll have much time to develop the story. Well, the game takes place on the Queen of the World. It's a gigantic city-sized ship that hold a lot of population. Well, the background story of this game that they have a global population flood and this is one of their solution. And then you can see that is our objective marker. Scoot? I might get the wrong idea if you keep calling me when you're off duty, Miss Wilson. My system just went down. Anything I should know about? The party of the century is happening on your doorstep and you're staying at home. I'm gonna check on the network. You know I don't pay overtime, right? Well, if you explore your environment, you will find that kind of glowing object. It's uh, like a background... You can read a background story or insight from these objects. And also, um, not this, sorry. Um, okay, and Q. Yeah, that's it. Tap to go into the map and objective, and you press Q for the database. 
Oh, this is a objective tab and in for about character and for this one Mado it's um if you do some specific actions you will get a medal like this one after escaping the elevator shaft examine the malfunctioning door and you will get systems engineer medal well it's kind of a collectible and gimmick but you can unlock steam achievement by collecting all the medal actually I get every medal in my last playthrough but it seems there are two medals that will get reset every time you start a new game and yeah this is the 3d map 2d map and 3d map of the game we'll see about that later okay just to get on our way Okay, listen, your system failing hardly amounts to a security threat. Just let other people do their jobs for a change. Well, there's no harm in checking, is there, Scoot? Fine, fine, I'm too busy to argue with you. Where are you? I'm just by the, uh, security post in D-Cell. D-Cell? What are you doing down there? I'm working so that you can have the night off. Scoot, I don't need a night off. So Well, now would be a good time. Ugh. Jesus! Where am I? The hull is breached. A deck is flooding. A deck? What am I doing on A deck? Well, uh, you might hear that you might hear and see that she is being haunted by her shy group memory. But I don't understand the point of All I know is the ship was attacked. Attacked? The shuttle plaza. You can get to the upper decks from there. Go! Quickly! Okay, but what about you? Are you okay? I'm fine. Diesel wasn't hit. At least not yet. But I'll leave when you're safe. And you might see that the script, the dialogue, and voice acting is not that good, but I assure you this game is still enjoyable. Jesus, who did this? How the hell should I know? And what is outstanding about this game is any effect related to water, as you can see that, it looks quite good. It's 
rescue. My security level has been reset. I'm trapped down here. Oh, crap. Somebody's breached the network. The security system's down. You'll have to hack back in. I can't. My Mavi programs have been wiped. I'll need a new hack module. Okay, scanning. There's a console on the level above. Uploading now. I don't Hang know, on. but... How could they hack the system without us knowing? They couldn't. That's what worries me. I don't know, but she seems to be uh, a little bit too much desperate. Right. Download the hack program from the central console. Officer, I need to use that console. Hey! He's dead! Yates is dead! What? The monitors! There's some kind of sick message! It's being broadcast all over the ship. I'll look into it. Just get the hack program and get the hell out of there. Now we have a hacking module. We can hack into some consoles and terminals. Okay. Okay, I've got it. We're gonna have to hack back into our own system. It's the only way to regain your security access. Now get the security control, it's back past the elevators. Well, if I was her, I will run without thinking. What is that? What are you talking about? I would run for sure. Oh shit, Kate, run! Kate! Damn it! I'm alright, Scoot. I'm okay. Ah, the door won't open. I can't get out. The access circuits are fried. You'll have to hack the emergency release. As you can see, we have um, collectible objects around the game. Damn! I can't get to it! Is there another way around? Uh, ah! What the hell are you doing? Well, you did say go to the shuttle plaza. Yeah, I was thinking you could use the lower entrance. Uh, she didn't have to... Uh, she have an acrobatic skill. Some documents. Okay, and for the hacking, I have to mash the. Excuse me, miss. You do know it's a, a crime to hack the ship systems, don't you? I suppose you're going to report me to Billingham. Nah, it's your first offense. Just keep it quiet. Got a reputation here, you know. Just like the good old days, Kate. Now back to the main assignment. Careful, Kate. If you die, my workload doubles. Can also walk on the ledge and can also swim from a you know hacking bar. Just like this um, pipe over there, but I'm not gonna go that way because we have to go to our objective marker. Uh. And and you can hear there is some kind of lightning down there. Good thing. Whoa, Kate, are you okay? What's causing these explosions, Scooter? I'm detecting another hull breach. Move your ass now! It's getting worse and worse. A lot of water. I'm reading a massive pressure buildup down there. Move fast, Kate! Run! Go, Kate! Run! Run! Don't stop, Kate. You're almost there. Well, 
if I cannot make it in time, I have to, you know, dive under the water back about half the way and press the release console to open the door again. Water is in. So good, I think it uh, even supports the water in Bioshock. Well, the man upstairs must like you. You're directly below security control. You just need to find a way up. I didn't sign up for this. This is Chief Bellingham. Respond if you can hear me. Bellingham? What the hell? Uh, the dialogue seemed to be Repeat, a little Bellingham. bit out of place. I can use that to open it. Chief! Where's the nearest console? Upstairs! <coughs> the office above me! Go! Now! Big bad Billingham needs an engineer to come to his rescue. <laughs> this is priceless. What the hell is taking you so long? Okay guys, I will end this video here. If you enjoy watching this, please give it a like. Or better, you can subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. And I appreciate any of your support. Thanks Gotta find for a way watching. up there, Kate.